Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Choi, I think it is, box. And this is a subscription service that I really hadn't heard that much about. But my friend Jen from Just Jen Makeup, she mentioned it this summer. She hasn't really made video videos in a while, but I'll link her channel down below because she is wonderful. Um, and then also Nisi Parham recently I heard talk about this. And this is just an interesting subscription service that I wanted to try out. Especially because when Nisi mentioned it in November, it was right before Black Friday and they had a $10 off sale basically for Black Friday. So I thought I would go ahead and try it out. So, Choi is a $20 a month subscription service where you get to try out a bunch of high-end samples, essentially. And when I got it, it was $10 for my first box because of the Black Friday sale. I'm debating with myself right now whether I want to keep going because $20 is kind of a lot for this particular subscription service. Um, but I really, really liked it. So, basically what happens is you order the box and then you get to pick out five samples of the color and the item that you want of anything that they have on their site. So, you buy your subscription first and then you put the five products in your box and then they send it to you. So the box is this size, it is really actually a nice box. And then at the top they give you what your samples are. So it lists my five samples and their colors up here. And then they send them in, like if they're a cream type product they put it in these little containers. And if it's a powder product they put it in a little pan for you. So I ordered three powder products so I got this. And then they also send little lip and like eye brushes and this is like the blush brush which are not super great quality. I honestly probably won't ever use this one because it's pretty scratchy. Um, and for like the lipstick, I just use my fingers instead. But they do send those, which is a nice feature. When you buy this, so it's $20 regularly, and then you also get 250 Elite Choi points, which basically equates to $5 towards one of the full sizes of one of the products that you tried out on their site. And then if you refer people, you also get points and things like that. So I will leave a referral link down below in case anybody wants to try it out and use that referral link. It's a little bit confusing, honestly, for the referral link, so I understand if you can't figure it out. I think I tried to use Nisi's and I don't know if it actually worked or not. I don't know, it was a little bit confusing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and share with you guys kind of what I decided to get and what my thoughts are on ah, the subscription service as a whole. One thing about me, I hate asking for samples. So if you are one of those people that hates asking for samples, like I don't like going into Sephora and asking for samples. It just, I hate talking to people in general. I kind of have social anxiety a little bit. And so um, because of that, I really don't like asking for samples, but I also don't have a lot of places around me that have great places for samples. Our Sephora is kind of crappy. It's really, really tiny and it's inside of JCPenney's. Um, there are some counters and stuff like that, but I don't often go to the mall to get those samples and things like that. I've never really tried out anything from Chanel or things for like that. So this actually worked out really, really well for me because there were a lot of things that I wanted to try that I never had. And so it was a good opportunity. So um, I will show you guys a little bit of me putting these products on and I'll do some swatches here. So the first thing that I have here is the Chanel eyeshadow in Emmerville. And this is the Diambre Luminous Eyeshadow. So these are more like a cream shadow. I struggle to get it picked up to actually apply it. So I like to use my fingers to apply cream eyeshadows and it is kind of hard for me to actually apply it. This is one that I wanted to try out because I heard um, Ingrid from Miss Glamorazzi, what's her last name? I don't know. I don't remember what her actual name is. But because I heard her talk about it so much, I wanted to try it out. And it is a really pretty color. It's pretty natural. So if you wanted to wear this on like an everyday makeup, really easy neutral day, this would be a really good product for it. It is really shiny and pretty, but it is very natural. It's not like an overwhelming color on your lid. So I did layer this today on underneath another shadow. So I have that on as my cream base first. On top of that, I have the NARS Dual Intensity Eyeshadow in Callisto. Yeah. So when these come, they come in these little packages and then there's a little like plastic thingy over top of it so that they don't spill out, I guess. And then this one is like a pretty silvery, purpley, taupe type color. And this is absolutely gorgeous. I am so excited about this color. So right here it is. I have it on my lids and I tried it first without wetting it and I liked it, but it wasn't nearly as intense as when you wet it. So I sprayed my brush with the Smashbox primer water and then I applied it and so I have that on today and I really really like it. I think it's really pretty. Um, and this is enough pan, like half the pan about is filled. I don't need to buy a full size of that anytime soon because that is going to be plenty to keep me going for quite a while. These pans are pretty big so it's about half the size of the pan. And so I will not need to buy that one anytime soon because I'm sure by the time I use that up 
I will be good. I do not use the same eyeshadow that often when it's in a single form that I would need that. So that was pretty cool to me. I really, really like that one. And I think if I continue on with this subscription, I'm going to get a few more of those in my orders because I really like those. I thought about buying that palette, the one that has like eight of their different eyeshadows, and I never did because it was super expensive and I didn't know if I would wear all the colors. But like there's another one that I know that I really want to try out, so I think I'm going to go for that next. The next thing that I have in this little palette here is a Kevin Aquan powder. This is the Kevin Aquan Celestial Starlight Powder, or Celestial Powder and Starlight. And this I actually have on as my highlight today, which I really, really like. I didn't think I would like it that much. I didn't think it would blend in with my skin very nicely, but I actually ended up really, really liking this. So it comes off a little bit darker. It is not like a pale highlight, so if you have really pale skin, it's probably not going to work super well. But it worked okay for me. I didn't think it would when I first swatched it, but it ended up turning out a lot nicer than I thought it would. And I really, really liked it. I don't have Kevin Aquan anywhere near me. It's not in our Sephora. And I worry about buying things like that that I've never swatched online. I know Sephora online carries some Kevin Aquan stuff, but I've never bought it. So because of that, I didn't want to purchase it. But this is a good way to try it out first before I would look into purchasing anything from Kevin Aquan because it is pretty expensive stuff. And... I hear a lot of people rave about it, but I don't have access to it. So that's a good way to try that out. And then the next thing that I have in my palette here is this color here, which is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Mood Exposure. And this one is supposed to be like more of the mauve type color, I think. But part of the problem with this is because it's a blush and they have it like, they, you know, obviously separated it and put it into a pan. I think I got a lot more of the lighting powder than I did like the blush. And so it comes off a lot lighter than I would like. So I have it layered today with a cream blush like I always do. So it probably looks a lot darker than it is, but I don't know how much I'll use that because of the way that they sampled it. It's so much of the light, like of the lighter highlight color that it almost is not noticeable. It's a really, really light, light color here. The last thing that I have here is the Clinique Pop Lip Color Plus Primer, and this one is Clinique Plum Pop. So I also have this on my lips today. And I really like this color. It's hard to, to apply because it's in like a little, you guys can see that, it's like a little chunk of the lipstick cut off basically, but the color is really pretty. I'd heard somebody talking about this, maybe it was either Love Heatherette or it's Kirsten, but it is a really, really pretty color and I would actually consider buying a full size of this because I think the pr color is really pretty and the way that it applies is really nice. It's not too thick and heavy, but it looks nice. I don't know. I'm a fan. And then one thing just about the packaging when it comes. So mine I've been using, so it's not looking as nearly as nice. But when it comes, it comes very, very secure. So all of these are like taped in here. And so it doesn't move around. It is going to be stuck there so you don't come with like destroyed stuff. Overall, I was really, really excited about this box. I really enjoyed it. I don't know that I would pay $20 a month for samples continually, but I am excited to try it out for a little bit. I was glad I got my first month for $10, and I think it was worth it for things like this eyeshadow. I mean, I will definitely use that, and it's a good size sample. This um, Celestial Lighting Powder, that's a perfect size highlight. I'm sure I will use that, and it looks nice, and I really like it without having to buy one without trying it out. Like this lipstick I was really excited about. The blush and the Chanel eyeshadow were not my favorite. I'm glad that I tried those out without buying them because people rave about those types of things, but I wasn't in love with them the way they sampled at least. I might like that blush better if I got it in an actual full size where it wasn't weirdly kind of mixed with the highlighting powder, I think. But overall, I really, really like this subscription. I'm gonna try it for a few more months at least. I'll probably cancel it. I'm not gonna continually do it over and over and over again. But you do get points each month and you can add those up and use those towards things that you really, really like. And then if you refer anybody, you get points for that as well. So I will leave that referral code down in the down bar again if you guys are interested in trying out. I heard several people when I posted this picture on Instagram say that they'd never heard anything about it. So if you wanted to check it out, please use my referral link because help, that helps me out so that I can maybe purchase some of these things. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts if you guys have tried this before or if you've tried anything like it or if you think it's worth it. I'd love to hear those in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.